HTTP polling is fine, but service and events are better. Let's use the Go OpenAI library to implement service and events for real-time updates. Step 1. Let's set a couple of routes in our main.go file. We need one route to handle our initial form input given to us by our user. This would be the user prompt. Then we need another endpoint that's actually going to handle the service and events from OpenAI. For step 2, we're using HTMX. So let's go ahead and create some HTML that will be returned when we call our first route with a form to handle our user's prompt. Let's make that a little easier to read. There we go. Step three, let's handle the user prompt and initialize the service and events HTMX extension. Finally, let's handle the service and events and pass them back to the client. First, let's get our prompt that was passed in via query parameter. Then let's go ahead and set some headers that we're going to need to handle an event stream. We need to set up our flusher because every time we send an event, we're gonna to have to flush the buffer. Let's go ahead and send an initial message, which will serve as a UI placeholder before we go ahead and send our first events. Now, after all that, we can construct our OpenAI request using the user prompt. After constructing our request, we can initialize the stream and handle any error events that happen during initialization. Then all we need to do is establish a continuous loop where we'll receive events from the stream. If we receive an error event, we go ahead and pass that error event to our client. Next, we go ahead and take all of the update events and pass them to our client. Once everything is finished, we'll go ahead and send the completion event, which tells us everything's finished. At this point, all we have to do is return some HTML that no longer tries to establish the service and event connection and shows the user the final output.